Let's discuss the fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane and this model is the most accepted one. This model was proposed by Sir S. Jonathan Singer and Garth Nicholson. So they stated that protein icebergs in a sea of lipids. So just like if this is the cell, this is the cell nucleus and this is the cytoplasm of the cell. So plasma membrane is the membrane very near to the cytoplasm of the cell. So this is the Cyto, uh, plasma membrane and it is like protein icebergs in a sea of lipids so this plasma membrane this green color let's consider this as sea of lipids so these are made up lipid molecules and protein icebergs are floating in this C. Okay. Features. It is plasma membrane according to them is lipoproteinous and trilaminar. That is it is made up of lipids and protein and it's trilaminar in nature. Phospholipid bilayer is fluidy. So the lipids which are actually phospholipids and this bilayer of phospholipid is fluidy. Two types of movements thereby can occur in this plasma membrane. One is transition movement, another is flip flop movements. So transition movements is like the movement of molecules within the same layer and flip-flop is the migration of the molecules from one layer to another. Globular proteins are of two types uh, extrinsic or peripheral proteins and another is intrinsic or integral proteins. So these th features are all new to you. I will explain these features with proper diagram in my next slides. Just to understand or to remember that plasma membrane according to the fluid mosaic model is lipoproteinous in nature and also it is trilaminar and phospholipid bilayer is fluidy and because of this there are two movements within the plasma membrane we see one is transition movement and another is flip-flop movement transition movement is the movement of molecules within the same layer and flip-flop between the layers now proteins are of two types peripheral and integral proteins peripheral means which is present in the periphery that is outside and integral means which is very close to the cytoplasm now now discuss this plasma fluid mosaic model in this diagram so let's discuss it is given each phospholipid molecule is a polar molecule and has two ends so these are all phospholipid molecules the one i am indicating with the color these are all phospholipid molecules and it is 
polar in nature with two ends this end is the hydrophilic head of glycerol and this is the hydrophobic tail of two fatty acid chain so it is amphiphatic molecule because it has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends similarly in this phospholipid molecule it has hydrophilic and hydrophobic tail hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail of two fatty acid chains so it is amphiphatic molecule now this heads this heads of this phospholipid molecule this heads are directed in opposite directions you see this head and this head they are directed in opposite direction in this side also you see this head and this head heads of the phospholipid molecules are directed in opposite directions and their tails this is the tail and the tails face each other and thus form a water resistant barrier means water cannot pass through this membrane water resistant barrier so carbohydrates are found on the outer surface so this is the carbohydrate molecule this blue color carbohydrates are found on the outer surface and forms glycolipids because these carbohydrates are attached with this phospholipid molecule for so that is phospholipid head more appropriately so these carbohydrates are found on the outer surface and forms glycolipids this is important so when carbohydrates are attached with the lipids it forms glycolipids and when this carbohydrate molecules are attached to the proteins it forms glycoproteins and most importantly sterol molecule that is cholesterol is present in between the phospholipids so let's take this color purple and this sterol molecules are present here be present between the phospholipids and this sterol is cholesterol now tunnel or transmembrane protein this big one you see which is present in both the layers this is known as the tunnel or the transmembrane protein some intrinsic proteins means the proteins which are found inside the layer so this intrinsic protein sometimes gets large shaped a large shaped and project on both the surfaces of the phospholipid bilayer and named as transmembrane or tunnel protein and what is the function of it charged channels it is a charged channels for the passage of water soluble materials so water soluble materials can pass through this transmembrane or tunnel protein so this is so this is the actual fluid mosaic model you see see this one is the transmembrane or tunnel uh, protein over here is the carbohydrate these are the phospholipid molecule this is the phos polipid head and tail head is hydrophilic and the tail is hydrophobic it is given mentioned here also and these proteins are called glycoproteins or glycolipids 
over here this is the peripheral protein so inside between uh, the phospholipid head we find the cholesterol and these are the peripheral protein molecules and this is the intrinsic protein some of the intrinsic protein is known as the tan tunnel protein or the transmembrane protein this is the actual fluid mosaic model now quasi fluid state what is this due to this state biomembranes can undergo dynamic changes and thus helps in cell growth intercellular junction secretion and cell division this quasi fluid state of biomembranes what i what is biomembrane i have discussed in my previous presentation so in the previous video you will find what is biomembrane so this quasi fluid nature of this biomembrane helps in the growth of the cell and also provides intercellular junction secretion and cell division